Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD. And yes, Apple has released a new iOS and it's version 9. So as you can see, I have an iPad mini 3, which is model 1599, which I deployed the new operating system. And as you can see, version 9. Off the bat, when you go inside your settings in general and multitasking, you're going to see your three beautiful options that Craig from the event announced, which is allow multiple apps, video overlay, and gestures. I think gestures was always there. Uh, video overlay, I haven't got the quirk of this. I tried testing this out, but it doesn't work out for me. Multiple apps does work out with no problem, and the way that works, if you take the uh, right-hand side, as you can see, I was playing around with it. And uh, video does play, but for some reason, when I'm playing video, it doesn't do, it doesn't do the video overlay. The video is supposed to go into the lower, maybe lower right hand side, and then you're able to just manipulate. But another thing that I noticed is that uh, the multiple switching, it, I don't see the bar. Uh, uh, within the event, they were able to double click on the bar, and it, it did the split screen. I'm not able to do the split screens at all on this yet. Uh, I did notice on the double click on home, you got this beautiful, nice display, which is pretty awesome. Uh, you still have the same concept, like you, if you swipe up, if you swipe up, it kills the app. You still got that. I don't notice the recents. They kind of removed that recents uh, feature from the top. Uh, remember, on the old operating systems, if you drag, uh, if you drag in the middle, actually, you get the search, which is still there. But now they brought back the searching if you swipe on to, if you swipe to the right. So that's pretty cool. Searching feature has been enhanced in the point that it searches everywhere. So right now I'm searching for YouTube. So if you have the application installed, it will give you the first item as okay, you have the YouTube app and that's you should click on that. If not, it actually goes inside the web videos. It goes inside the news. It even does a Bing search, which is pretty weird. It isn't Bing part of Microsoft why, why should it I don't know that's weird uh, you search the web you can search the apps search the maps which is pretty cool so I'm gonna cancel that out and uh, from here uh, another thing that they redesigned just like in the Mac OS X operating system El Capitan they did redesign the note app now the oh note app I love the note app because you are able to let's create one right now on the fly and I'm gonna minimize the keyboard and they gave us this nice little tool to draw, which is pretty cool. You're able to draw. If you're a sketch artist, boom, you don't, you don't have to go to the app store anymore to download an app to sketch uh, different colors. This is pretty cool. So I'm going to hit done on this. And you're also able to go into your photo app. So I want to go to the photo library. And within the photo library, I only have one picture of my son. So let's take that picture and attach it there. Look at that face. So that's awesome. Uh, another thing that I notice is within here, let's click on, let's click inside to create some text. So it's the same concept. Uh, you're able to create uh, bullet points. So I'm doing a hello there. You hit enter, another bullet point. Uh, you're able to cut, do the cutting. You could do cut, paste. That's awesome. So I'm just going to, let's highlight this. I'm going to select only this and I'm going to cut it. There it goes. Cut. And let's see, I want to paste it here, paste it there. Awesome. Uh, another cool thing is if you take your two fingers and place it on the space bar now and you move it up, when you do that concept right there, what happens is that your entire uh, board is, uh, it creates like a big trackpad, as you can see. That's pretty awesome. So you see how everything grayed out and I'm able to move the mouse around like a huge trackpad. So that's I like that feature a lot. From here, within the keyboard, you're also able to modify uh, the bullets, dash, numbers, uh, italics, underline, heading, title, and all that good stuff. So that's pretty cool. You can also able to uh, able to get into the drawing app again if you want from the keyboard. And within the keyboard, you can also get into, let's get out of there. And let's go inside. There you go. You can also go inside the photo app to take a picture. I'm going to take a picture on the, on the spot. And let's turn it around. And there I'm going. I'm going to take a picture. Oh, there you go. So I'm going to use that picture. And there I go. So that's pretty cool. Okay, guys. So that's my hands-on on the iOS 9. Again, I'm still playing around with it. Uh, still trying to learn as much as I can with it. 
I'm still I'm, I want to see how the pitcher to pitcher works. Uh, I'm, I still haven't got the hang on the the split screen as of yet. I know if I'm able to go into notes and I slide to the right, I get this beautiful uh, side menu right here. But if you drag it to the bottom, you get multiple apps, as you can see. Let's say if I want to go to photos. But I don't get that middle. Um, no, I'm going to skip that for now. I don't get that middle uh bar that he mentioned that you're able to click on it and it just splits i'm not able to get that at all i don't know why that sucks i, I wish i could do that but overall guys i think the ios 9 is it's a, a great thing uh, a lot of new features a lot of the features that they announced on the mac os they kind of integrate it with the app the ipad and the iphone devices which is awesome uh just try to keep everything as one which is that's a great thing because if you learn in a one device it's easy on the next device. Hopefully you guys enjoy this hands-on on the iOS 9. Again, I'm using the iPad Mini 3 Model 1599. If you have any questions or comments, leave them right below. Or if you're testing out the iOS 9 yourself and you have any tips and tricks, leave them at the bottom on the comment section. And I'll catch you guys on the next hands-on. Peace out.